Hello there, Capricorn. How are you guys? What's the scoop, doop? <laughs> okay, so this is September 2023. Readings for you. Let's see what's happening. Let's go into the past. Go back, go back, way back. I don't know how far we're going to go back. It's going to be the fairy one. But let's see what's happened in the past. Believe and succeed. Ooh, I like the way to start that way. Whoop. <laughs> My words are all messed up. This Mercury retrograde, I'm fumbling over everything. Release. Okay, release. And third eye shop. You know, an awful lot of people are tapping into their third eye in these readings. What is happening? I guess it's the ascension, the vibration. Okay, so share the love. Ooh. All right. So you're believing and succeeding here. That's the past energy. So you did something here that came to light. Okay. And we have here emotional withdrawal. So you had to withdraw from something. Yeah. I felt like maybe. Oh, I almost feel like someone was like really feeling down and out and depressed. And something, something helped you. Something came along. That sort of like, like a light bulb. So it brought you out of this. Okay, let's see. Release. Maybe you're releasing it. The wish. You know, oh my gosh. This is the waiting game. I was going to say the wishing game. So maybe that means something to someone. That you're releasing. Okay, you're releasing the waiting game. You're no longer waiting for someone or something. Hmm. I almost feel like you're putting your eggs in one basket. Now you're not. Okay, third eye chakra. You might have seen something. Something opened up for you here. Um, you had the third eye opening here. Let's see. And love begins. Okay. Ooh, I just got a chill. So there's a new love from the past. Now I'm saying I don't know how far back this goes, but we're going, we're tapping to something that is important now that we have to look at it. Okay. Choose wisely. So you had, oh, okay. So you might have had the feeling this person was coming around in the past. Or you might have seen them in your third eye. And then the share the love. The love begins. You might have had a choice. Okay. Let's see. Emotional withdrawal. Believe and succeed. Uh, ooh. Wow. You, there's some kind of communication that came in for you. And it's almost like you had you cut down something. This person's energy feels um really like determined. Like something's blocking my view. Something's blocking my way. Almost feels like you. So with this third eye over here, I think someone just did, were determined to tap into their intuition. And here comes spirit communication. So once you remove the blockage, whatever that was, the communication came in. Okay, so release the waiting game. Ace of Swords. Look at that. Speaking your truth. Standing in your power. Some kind of um, opportunity came in. Once you release the, the waiting game. Once you release something else. Look how this person's looking over at that person. Yes. Remove that blockage. Take that down. <laughs> okay, third eye chakra. Love begins. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Something had to end. There's a painful ending. Okay, so I almost feel like that's what it was. You had to remove the energy of the last um, connection in order for this love to begin because this was the emotional withdrawal of keeping you stuck. So once you released that, the new love came in. And we have here, look at that, the death card. Scorpio energy, ending, rebirth. A major transformation happened here. Once you release something or someone, it's like everything shifted. Okay, let's see what else we have here. The lovers. Okay. 
definitely there's a love connection that came in once you let go of a different connection or once you let go of belief maybe even and we have oh the death card in reverse well that's interesting almost feels like by doing this you almost stopped the ending here or you delayed it what is that all about Scorpio energy you know I'm almost feeling like something that happened here shocked someone here this is almost like delayed something but it still came in of course we have a death card here twice It's like, I think you came to terms with the fact that something was over, though. You released something, it was over. There's no way that this is going to come back around again. But then again, you have a, a major transformation going on here. Okay, let's see. Third eye chakra. Love begins. Ten of swords. And we have the six of wands. So there's the victory here. Once you let go of something, once you came to terms with something, it seems like, once you realize something was happening, then everything worked out. The Emperor, you, you took your power back. Aries energy. Okay, so now, let's see what's happening in the present. What is happening in the present? Sacral Chakra. Oh, wow. This is your creativity. This is your sexuality. Something is brewing. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Take the lead. Look, leadership, take the lead. This is what's happening here. You might be taking the lead in a relationship. You might be moving on from something here to rebuild, to start anew. Start over. Okay. Sacral chakra. Why is the sacral chakra here? Shadow. There was something that you had a faith within yourself that you were denying or trying to ignore. And now this is like, you know, trying to face something here and this is something to do with your creativity with your sexuality okay now moving on solitude so you're moving on from something at this point and doing something alone there's something that you realize here something about your creativity or your sexuality that you had to look at you had to take a deep look at and now you realize that you have to do something on your own here. There's something you learned here, some kind of lesson. So now you're taking the lead. And prosperity begins. It almost feels like every time you decide to walk away from something, something good happens, something comes in. And we have material and, sp and spiritual prosperity. Look at that. You have prosperity here twice. So definitely prosperity coming in at this time. Okay. Psycho Chakra Shadow. Queen of Cups. This is you expressing yourself. I, th I think that you are actually, you know, I'm feeling someone here is really realizing how much they have to love themselves, not give their power over to someone else. That's the Emperor coming in here. That's the um, taking the lead. It's like, you're, you're really putting love into yourself. You, you know what you have to do now. And you're doing it. This also could represent Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. But I feel like you're very loving, nurturing, caring. And I feel like you've been giving your love to someone that did not appreciate, did not, ex um, I'm not saying not expect it, did not, yeah, they just did not appreciate it. They were not deserving of it. Okay, now moving on in solitude. Yes. Here you are working on something here. You're putting work into something. I think you're put, putting work into yourself here, if I could speak. You're working on something. 
Okay, now take the lead and prosperity begins. This could be moving on by yourself to do something on your own here as far as work. Okay. The Fool. Yes, there's a new beginning here. You're starting something new and it's going to really do well here. Prosperity, take the lead. This might be your own business. Okay, now we have here Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone might be coming in with an offer. Someone might be also offering for you to help rebuild something that you're or trying to rebuild a connection, trying to rebuild the business, trying to rebuild a dream. Okay, now let's see here. The future. What's coming in the future for you guys? Base chakra. Okay, we're talking about the material prosperity, working on something here. The root chakra. Building, it almost feels like you're rebuilding or building something from the, the base up, from the bottom up. <clears throat> Listen. You're listening to your guides. You're listening to your intuition. Got that third eye chakra there that opened in the past. Strengthening bonds. Okay, you're rebuilding something. You're strengthening bonds with something. And we have manifest. And I think a lot that you're rebuilding and listening to and strengthening bonds, which is your spiritual connection. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm getting something about understanding the base of the foundation here. Hope. This is this dark card. Aquarius energy. Hopes and wishes and dreams coming true. You are the light. You, are, you. It seems like you have the answers. You know what you're supposed to do. And something about building. This is. This feels very um, something to do with a business or that you want to start that you've been working on, or you've been thinking about working on. You're listening, though. You're listening to your guides. The truth. The truth will set you free. You're understanding the truth. And also, it's like truth is coming to light. Okay. Strengthening bonds. Oh, wow. Accelerated motion. Wow. Something is taken off here for you. Quick. Very quick movement here. And something either, like your connection with spirit, your con connection with the divine, also your connection with someone else. Memories of love. Okay, so there might be something coming back from the past. Or you might be um, working on something that you love from the past. Now, <clears throat> the memories of love is like the Six of Cups, but... <coughs> Sorry, I got too cool here. But it's... um. It could be of anything. It could be a love connection. It could be a friendship. It could be a business. It could be something to do with the family. Something that that brings back very fond, um, beautiful memories here. Okay, now let's see. Base chakra, hope. The chariot. It feels like once you come to this realization of something here, this is all, something can... Very fast movement. Something's going to take off very quick for you. So expect things that also in life get very busy very quick. Listen, truth, and we have the emperor again. You are standing in your power here. Wow. Okay. And then we have the um, knight of pentacles comes up again. Someone's coming in with an offer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is, um, someone might want to come in to strengthen bonds with you, and they want to do this quickly. And the, the Knight of Pentacles does not move quickly, but boy, when it's so funny now. It feels like they may take their sweet time, but then once they show up, it's like, hurry up. Ten of Cups. This person might want a long-term commitment here. Happy family. This also could be bringing back a family connection. I mean, if you're married to this person, they want to reunite. They want, they want to strengthen this bond. They, they understand 
the depth of this connection, which I don't know why they didn't it before, but something awoke in them then. Okay, so now let's see what else we can. King of Cups. A lot of love here. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups. I think, yeah, this person is coming back around if this is a energy like that. They're realizing how strong this connection was. And, they're, and by you loving yourself, it triggered them. Because I think you were giving away too much of yourself to others. And now, you are, are you putting yourself in there? Are you loving yourself first? That is making a big difference. Did I not put these cards on these? Look at that. I did not use this deck over here. That is crazy. I don't know. I've been so discombobulated with this Mercury Rectorate. Let me do that. Now that I realize, where's the other card? How come I don't have an actual one here? Ooh, this has been happening in these readings. Let me, guys, let me know if you've been going through the same stuff. Because it's this Mercury Rectorate has been making me, like, it's very spacey. <laughs> okay. Something's here. Okay. Let's see. So we got the King of Cups here. I want to uh, go back to the Queen of Cups now. M maybe Spirit intended that. I don't know. It's either I'm just a space cadet here or, <laughs> or this was intended by Spirit. Okay, let's see. Sacral Chakra Shadow, Queen of Cups. Ah, the Three of Cups in reverse. Not celebrating something here. Something being delayed. Why is it? It feels like someone not happy about what you're doing. You know, I think you pulled back your energy from some people because they were just taking and they're not too happy about it. Okay. Now, moving on, Solitude. Yeah, that's what it is. You're moving on. You're doing your own thing because you're not going to give. We're not. We're not receiving. And we have. Okay, look at that. Look what I just said. You wanted even give and take. You were given and you weren't receiving. So now you're working on your own thing. And by working on your own thing, you're going to bring in more to yourself. Okay, now take the lead. Prosperity begin the fool. Power. Ooh. You are going to shock the poop out of everyone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You are doing something amazing. You're in you're in the process now of um I don't why do they want to tell me scaring? It's like you're scaring people. <laughs> you're scaring people with what you're able to accomplish. They never seen that is what I'm getting here. You're doing something totally unique, totally different at this time or in the process of starting this. I know it's hard to start things in Mercury retrograde, Venus retrograde, but there's something that you have been planning though because you're, you're putting into the work into yourself here. And that and spirit likes that. So you're going to get rewarded for this. There's going to be a more even give and take because there was not that before. Why do I feel like someone felt like someone was celebrating without them? It was like being uh, left out of these celebrations or something. Mm, okay. Now, for this listen, truth, and the emperor. Let's see. Ten of Swords. You're listening to the truth. You're ending things that are not good for you. That are not putting you where you're supposed to be. So we have both Ten of Swords here. Definitely you're ending things. Okay, now Strengthening Bonds, Accelerated Motion, Knight of Pentacles. So that now you can come together. 
and work on something here. Someone wants to partner up with you, wants to work as a team. And they might be pushing this too. I feel very a very pushy energy. And then we have here the Four of Pentacles. Holding on to you, not wanting to let you go. But you're also, I feel, holding on to your beliefs and what you believe in because you achieved so much here. You're not going to get, if this is someone from the past that you gave to all the time and you didn't give to yourself, that is no longer going to work. So you're going to hold on to what you need to hold on to. This person does not want to lose you though. But you are achieving a lot here. You're doing, you're amazing people. So yeah, you know what? As long as if someone comes into your life here, there's a lot going on here. A lot of energy, but you're staying in your truth. Someone's not going to move you from this. This is, you're shocking so many people. Surprise, abrupt, it's like, oh, what the hell? But you're, this is, bring in your prosperity though. And you're going to hang on to that. You're not going to. No one's going to take that away from you. Okay, let's see what signs you can be dealing with for the Capricorn East. Let's see. You are manifesting. It almost feels like, I, I feel like this vibration. I don't know how to explain it. It's like you're doing something here. And it's almost like people are feeling it. It's like you're shaking the, the earth or something. Okay, let's see what we have going on here. We have Gemini. Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer again, Virgo, and Libra. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo, and Libra. Now I'm also taking the energy of these cards, a the lover card here. There's a choice. There's there's some kind of commitment. There's some kind of partnership. But this is a choice. It also feels a little confusing when I'm over this card here. Cancer. Something happened very quickly here. The chariot. Things taken off. It's very fast moving. We do have the chariot here. Scorpio. Scorpio is a death card. Scorpio is the tower. You know, Scorpio is also... um. Yeah, this surprise, this um, it could be the King of Cups too. <clears throat> um, very strong here. Then we have Virgo. Now this is you going within, going um, within yourself to find answers, to seek what you need to find out here. <clears throat> and Libra, you're bringing in the balance. It's all coming together here. You're doing what you need to do. I think like also like feels like you got a handle on things. And you might say, about time. Well, you know, sometimes we have to go through things that we have to go through in order to get where we are so we could appreciate where we are because things were rough before, if that makes sense. All right, guys. Now, remember, this is, someone has, like, there's like an air bubble or something I'm feeling right now. Um, something needs to come out. Something needs to be expressed. I feel like the bubble, like something's like just about ready to, come out to, to speak your mind to speak your truth here all right so anyway these are general readings not personal readings please take what resonates leave what doesn't please let me know what resonates please leave comments i love to read your comments if it does not resonate check out your other placements sun moon rising and venus size something might resonate with you more in one of your other placements or it might give that missing piece that missing link um that makes everything sort of fall together click together missing piece of the puzzle also, at the end of each one of these readings, there will be a pop-up little um, picture, the thumbnail, that if you click on it, it will bring you to the link to the previous reading, which was um, Spirit Messages. So, if you want to check that out, just click on that link and it will bring you there. Otherwise, I hope to see you on the next reading. But thank you for coming to this reading. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.